we're on our, our first photo shoot together. How Corey do this? <laughs> I think I'm ready to steal Corey's job. Oh, <laughs> there's fighting talk in the camp. And I have to say, Caitlin absolutely killed it. Hey everybody, it's Rebecca Louise. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, then welcome. You've come on the right day because we are doing a most requested video. It's how to lose those love handles. So make sure you got your mat down nice and safe. You are with me in this beautiful island of Koh Samui in Thailand. If you guys want to come with me, make sure you check out all my retreats. It's in the link below. So we're going to start off, okay? We're going to warm up those abs, get rid of those love handles, and we're going to do wood choppers. So you're just going to twist round to the side, bending one knee and then extending up now if you haven't done the warm-up video first do that okay or if you haven't just gently ease into this we are gonna really twist off those inches twist by twist we're gonna do ab workouts we're gonna be working that booty and you're gonna be getting rid of those love handles so it's 15 minutes you gotta go all the way through to get the results it's kind of like a treasure chest okay the treasure trail the results, the gold is at the end. So it's just like that when we're doing our workout. Okay, twist it a little bit further and pivot round. That's it, really twist that waist. How are you feeling? And squeeze. Okay, take it down to the other side. Opposite way, twist it. And then just keep breathing in and out and really making sure that you're using those obliques, okay? We're getting rid of the love handles, working those obliques so that we're nice, tight and strong. Now, 80% of your results is gonna be down to nutrition and 20% is fitness. So if you haven't got your nutrition sorted, then that is what's gonna make the biggest difference. Okay, let's keep it going. Squeezing up and down. Woo! How are you feeling, guys? Making sure that you're breathing the whole time. We'll make sure that that gets the oxygen to our muscles so that we can work out. And let's keep squeezing. Three, two, and one all the way up okay we're going to go down onto our side we're going to do side planks so you're going to have your elbow underneath your shoulder and you're just going to lift up now the modified version is you're going to come onto your knees and you're going to lift up and down okay but if you're the advanced you're going to come up here and then we're just squeezing okay so just little light drops up and down stay nice and strong you can put this arm up in there if you want to you can put it here on your waist but all we're doing is having like a slight bend in the knee and that's bringing down those hips. And stay strong guys. Come on, we have got this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, squeeze it up and hold here. Come on guys, really squeeze it, push it. How much do you want it? Keep working those abs and release let's go straight on to the other side we have been no rest throughout this workout you're going to keep on crushing it so what we go remember modified version is on those knees and lift up i've just taken you to this amazing paradise you're in thailand with me oh my goodness can you just imagine you're escaping for 15 minutes just hear the sound of the ocean we just managed to film this workout it was so much rain but we're back here it's crazy how the rain comes super quick and then it starts to come nice and sunny. So you've caught us in the sunny period. Okay, let's go for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, keep pushing it. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. The next set of exercises. Okay, we are gonna do Russian twists. So these are one of my favorite exercises. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your hands together. We're gonna keep our feet flat on the ground because we really wanna work those abs rather than the, the quads. So you're just gonna twist from side to side. We're gonna take it a little bit lower in a moment, but I just want you to start off with warming, getting a nice twisting sensation, and then just catch your breath. So breathe in, ah, breathe out. Oh, doesn't that feel great? Yes, I want you to imagine that the sun is beaming down on your face. You're just working those abs getting yourself ready for your holiday, for your wedding, for your vacation, whatever it is, we are gonna here to get you in shape and feeling amazing. So let's take it a little bit lower. That's it, keep squeezing and just lift up that chest. If you need to, you can sometimes like tuck your feet underneath your sofa and that's gonna help them flying up in the air. Or maybe if you've got a friend, you can do this together. 
That's it. Now take it a little bit lower and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to hold it on this right side and we're just going to go to one side at a time. So that's it. Try and keep that chest up for me. Squeeze those abs. Push it round. We're going to keep it here. I know you're starting to feel it in those abs. Those love handles, just think about every single time you do a twist, you're just taking inch by inch and you're already five minutes in, guys. That's incredible. Come on, let's keep it up. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, other side. Just like we did before, we're just coming halfway and then back again. Now, sometimes when you're doing a workout, you might not be able to feel the actual workout or the burn when you do the first maybe 10 to 15 reps. But that's why you've got to keep on going. You've got to keep pushing through until you start to really feel it. So let's go for five, four, three, two, one. And we are not done here because we've got the last set of Russian twists on us right here. So let's keep it going. I want you to lean back a little bit further. I know those abs are on fire, but you just gotta keep on pushing through. We've got this. <sighs> Breathing in and out for me. You're almost there. How many more have you got in you? And three, <sighs> two, and one. Okay, lie down for me. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna lift up those legs. So what you can do is you can have your hands directly underneath your uh, where your hips are. Okay, and all we're going to do is going to take it over to one side and then bring it back up again and then take it over to the other side. So we're really making sure that we're keeping our back flat on the ground and the only thing that we're moving is those legs. So if you want to, you can actually put your arms out to the side as well. That might help a little bit, but I don't want to roll too far over. You just want to really try and squeeze the back into the ground. So that's it. We're twisting, using those abs, getting rid of those love handles. But you know, if you're curvy and you love your love handles, embrace them. Whatever it is that you want your body to look like, you can make it happen. So wherever you're at right now, love yourself and just keep on working and enjoying that journey. So let's keep it going. Squeezing here. So now this time what we're going to do is we're going to take it over to one side. You're going to extend your leg, bring it back in and over. Okay. So just a little bit more of an advanced move. Stretch squeeze and bring it back again. Now if you just want to keep doing what we were doing before and take out that extension, no problem. But if you want to challenge yourself or you think you're ready, let's add in that extension. That's it. Good job everybody. And squeeze. Woo! Yes, I'm definitely getting a sweat on. I can feel that burn. It's certainly kicking in. Extend those legs out and in. Okay, so this time we're going to take it out to the side and we're going to scissor, okay, and then taking it back to the middle. So we're scissoring all the way through. That's it, just keep it going. Squeeze that back into the ground. Tighten those abs and see if you can just extend your legs a little bit so it makes it a little bit more challenging. Okay, that's it, just think, oh, you're kind of riding a bike in your sleeve, working those abs at the same time. Let's take it one more time on either side. Swim, just swimming along in the nice ocean. Okay, and three, two, one. Okay, now this time we're gonna do those bigger bicycles. So extending all the way up to the top. That's it. In and out. Oh my goodness. That's it. Feel those abs working and breathe. You want to put your hands behind your back and just lift up that chest. Keep those legs extending. How are we doing everybody? Are we feeling strong? Let's keep it going. I know we've had these abs under some serious tension, but we're going to keep on powering through because those results are at the end of the workout. Now, are you ready? Let's scissor it across. So we want to keep it on a 45 degree angle. Try and keep your legs as straight as possible and then slowly take them down. Okay, and then bring them back up again and take them down. So that's it. So we're really working those lower abs, burning those obliques, getting a nice flat tummy at the same time and bring it back up for three, two, one. Okay, we're going to roll up. We're going to come onto our front and we're going to go into a plank. Oh, you can see I've made a nice sweaty mark. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are making the same too. So all we're going to do here is we're going to come up into a plank and we're going to drop those hips from side to side. Now you can do it on your knees, okay? And as you get the strength, maybe you can come up onto one leg, onto two. And then all we're doing is dropping those hips from side to side. So using those oblique muscles, working on those love handles, that's it. And then just keep squeezing. Woo! 
Oh my goodness, guys, you're doing incredible. Make sure that you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca, after every single workout so that I can see you guys because your results are incredible. That's it, breathing in and out. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now let's hold it here. That's it, take a nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, you can come down onto your knees and let's roll back over. Okay, so this time we are going to be squeezing those obliques, squeezing those quite, uh, those love handles. We're going to be squeezing everything, guys. So we're going to lift up, and all I want you to do is touch your heel. Okay, so try and keep your chest up for me. We've just got five more minutes left to go. Look at your abs. Do they deserve for you to go another five minutes? I think that we all deserve that time. Spend that time on you. And I've said this before, but you know, guys, if you stop now, what are you going to do for the next five minutes? Okay, you're probably maybe going to just sit around. Maybe you're going to scroll on your phone a little bit. Maybe you're just going to take like five minute extra shower. Or what you could do is finish this workout and get those results that you've always wanted. So let's just keep on going. That's it. Really try and touch that heel and keep that chest up at the same time and squeeze those abs down into the ground. Now hold it over to one side. That's it. Breathe in. Extend a little bit further. And let's take it over to the other side. Extend and take a little bit further. And same to the other side. So as you breathe in and exhale, squeeze a little bit further. It's amazing how far more you can get round when you really push yourself. So one more on this side and squeeze. Let's go back to pulses. That's it. We're just twisting that upper body really to work those abs and those obliques. How much do you want it? Let's keep it going. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to roll back up and go back onto our fronts. Now we're going to do some mountain climbs. We're going to do lots of variations. It's going to keep it exciting and keep you guys motivated. So you're going to come up here. Okay, your hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders. And all you're going to do is you're going to bring one knee in at a time. Okay, so just first of all, starting it nice and simple, bringing the knee in and squeeze in. Okay, so next thought, what we're gonna do, uh, sorry, excuse me, there was a mosquito biting me. And the next thought we're gonna do is you're gonna come out to the side. Okay, so that's it. So you're just gonna squeeze and bring your knee towards your elbow. So just as good as you can, even if you're just here, that's no problem, but as far as you can go. And let's go for five four three two and one okay so let's hold it up here in this plank and a nice big breath in for me and we're going to do the opposite so your opposite knee comes to the opposite elbow let's go for five four three two one okay we're going to take it down we're going to come into that plank and we're going to go back into those drops so we're here we're just going to take it side to side really using those hips to roll over that's it keep squeezing and breathing that's my two sayings guys you gotta squeeze and you gotta breathe and count down with me for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 onto those knees and let's roll over you're almost done guys come on let's keep pushing through we're gonna go back onto those russian twists like where we started with at the beginning over we go and just enjoying it okay this is the last bit guys we're on the home run keep pushing through and also cardio and hip workouts are really going to help with those love handles doing a little bit of bicycles maybe if you're going running or swimming they're all great cardio exercises okay and let's take it a little bit lower really squeeze those abs twist that upper body and the really important thing is is that when you're doing a russian twist is that you're using your hands and your eyes together. So wherever your hands go, your eyes go, because they actually make your upper body twist more. And you are in luck, guys, because we've got less than 60 seconds to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it here and we're gonna squeeze our knees in towards us, okay? We're gonna mix it up a little bit, but this is the first part. Really work those lower abs. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take it lying down all the way up to the top and we're going to go back into those drops 
the last 40 seconds guys we are gonna smash through it I want you to think like okay this is the beginning of the workout I haven't even worked out yet and this is where I'm gonna put all my effort and my energy so keep it going swing over to one side and hold and bring it back to the middle take it over to the other side and hold that's it make sure those legs don't drop on the ground bring it back to the top now can we do it with a little bit more of a straighter leg as low as you can come back up to the top and take it down to the other side <sighs> breathe for me and back up to the top okay one more on either side over we go and let's just take it in those ki scissor kicks to finish that's the final countdown come on keep it going count down with me for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 legs in the air lower than down gently roll up oh my goodness give yourselves a shake give yourselves a pat on the back because you guys did incredible make sure you subscribe to the channel you can check out the vlog channel as well that has all the amazing behind the scenes of what really happens on set my name is rebecca louise you can follow me on facebook and instagram make sure you comment below and i'll see you guys on instagram